Hi guys, my name is Demia and this is my very first time doing a YouTube video after much support and uh, words from daughter and best friend. This is something that I should be doing. So um, I am unfortunately a divorcee. I've been divorced now for about uh, nine years, almost nine years. At the time that I was coming out of my separation and thinking about whether or not I should actually get the divorce, there was a seminar going on at my church for these type of people who are separated or going through a divorce. So I joined this ministry or went to this seminar at my church and I realized after going through the seminar that I was ready for my marriage to actually conclude. So I was ready to go ahead and start filing for a divorce. Coming out of that, you know, it was a very hard thing for me to do. I fell into a state of depression. I was in my house for about two years after that, not realizing that I was actually in my house for two years, raising a daughter, a single, you know, single mom now. My husband was not my daughter's father. That was from a previous relationship. Um, here I was now raising a daughter, failed marriage, embarrassed, you know, saddened, all of that. So went through this uh, seminar. And then after the seminar was over and I went ahead and I filed for divorce, divorce was final. And then it was like, now what? How do I pick myself back up? How do I get my life back on track and everything like that? So a ministry actually started at my church for, again, the same thing for people who were separated and or going through a divorce or actually divorced. So I went ahead and I joined this ministry, but as time was going on early on, I realized that this wasn't for me. I was beyond all of that. So it was, you know, recapping the marriage, what things went wrong, what red flags did you see, all of that good stuff. I was past all of that. I wouldn't want to talk about that anymore. I wanted to know how to pick myself up and get myself started. So like, how do I get back into society? How do I start, you know, this? How do I now do that? Now I'm a single parent. How am I single parenting? It was just, you know, trying to figure all of that out. Once I got into it, it was like, yeah, no, this isn't what I want to do. If some of the leaders of the ministry were like, you should, um, you should stay, but how about you become a facilitator? So I stayed in the ministry in a different capacity. And I did that for, again, another couple of years. And then again, it was like, I'm over it. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It keeps bringing up bad, you know, memories for me and I don't want to do it. As a result of all that, people are like, well, maybe you should start your own ministry. And I'm like, well, what does that look like? And why would I want to do anything like that? But it was because people felt like I had a story to tell. And my story could, you know, help somebody else. And it's a testimony for, you know, other people. But I'm not one to put myself out there. It's not something that I like to do. I'm never in front of a camera like that. My friends and family will tell you, you check my phone. I'm very rarely by myself in any picture. It's just not something I like to do. But anyway, so here we are. And after much encouragement from my daughter and from my best friend, here we are. Because at first I wanted to start a blog and it was like, maybe I should, you know, write my story. I'm not that creative when it comes to writing. Not that creative at all. So it was, maybe you should start a YouTube channel. Who wants to do that? That makes me exposed. That makes me out there for, you know, the trolls and the haters and all that other stuff. But again, it's not about me. It's supposed to be about helping someone else. If it touches the masses, great. But I'll be happy if this story just touches one person, just to let one person know that you are not alone. You are not the only person to go through what you're going through. There is no need to suffer in silence. There is always someone who can help you through whatever it is you're going through. Because at the time that I was going through all of this, my friends and family closest to me were married and in happy relationships from what I thought. So why would I let burden them with what I was going through? So I just stuck to myself. It was just me and my little one. So at the time she was six, seven, eight, nine, going through all of this with me, you know, it was what it was. But here we are now, all these years later, and I just feel like I have something to offer. I could be wrong, I could be right, but I've prayed on it. I've talked about it out loud and we'll just see where this takes us, if it takes us anywhere. So again, if this can just help one person that I know that I've done my job. Then the question was when it was like, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. It's like, how do we get started? So again, my daughter, she's like, you know, just have like a get to know you kind of thing. So we have some questions that she's going to ask. She's over there, not wanting to be in front of the camera. That's her own thing. She got her own life doing her own thing. 
but she'll just ask some random questions and I'll just go ahead and answer them to the best of my ability. So here we are and let's begin. First question, when were you born? I was born in January of 1971. Question number two, what is your name and are you proud of it? So again, my name is Demia. Very proud of my name. Never wanted to change my name or anything like that. If I had a nickel for how many times my name has been mispronounced, I could probably be a trillionaire. But now as I've gotten older, when people say my name correctly, I acknowledge it and I thank them. Like, thank you so much for pronouncing my name right. Thank you for even caring to pronounce my name right because over the years I've had people be like, I don't know your name. Can I just call you Dig? No, because you don't know me like that. My name is Demia, so say it correctly. I think I was named after a football player at the time in the 70s. Um, this guy was playing for some university over on the West Coast, I believe. His name was Demia Washington, and I believe that's how my mother came out with my name. Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Whitney, Whitney, Whitney Houston. Don't come at me about Whitney. I don't care about the fact that she did this and she did that. I don't care. Whitney Houston has always been my favorite singer, will always be my favorite singer. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Whitney Houston, all day long. If you could only listen to one Whitney song for the rest of your life, which one would it be? My favorite Whitney song is called All the Man I Need. I don't know why, but I've always loved that song. So Whitney Houston, All the Man I Need. Do you love animals? If yes, which? Yes, I love me a puppy. I love, 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 love dogs. I don't gonna say I love dogs, cause it's not like I just randomly go up and pet dogs on the street. But I love a pretty and cute dog. I had a dog growing up. His name was Coco. Very sore subject for my brother, so we're not going to bring that up with him. And then um, we got Imani, a dog, when she was five. He was a Bichon. Mm -hmm. Very active Bichon. And unfortunately, he was too active for us. We kept him for a few years. But then we ended up giving him away. He just needed a boy that was just gonna run around with him outside and that just was not us. So a friend of ours knew of a teenage boy who was interested in a dog. So we gave our dog to him. So I hope he's doing well. His name was Hip Hop. Yes, my five-year-old child named the dog Hip Hop. <laughs> he was crazy. Do you have children? Just one. She's over there. 19, almost 20, sophomore in college and doing well. Best thing I've ever done in my life. Are you married or single? Again, I am unfortunately divorced, but in a really good relationship now. Maybe I'll talk about that later. What is your favorite thing to drink? I don't think I really have a favorite thing to drink, but my go-to is always a bottle of water. So right now I would say my favorite thing to drink is water. Do you want to have a business? Yeah, do you want to have a business? Yes. When Imani turned eight, when she was eight, we unfortunately, she was attending a private school at the time, but that private school was unfortunately closing. And when we were told that that private school was going to be closing, it was at the, I think we found out like in April. They told us that at the end of the school year, come June, that that was going to be their last year. It was like, okay, so what are we going to do with her now? She was in second grade. The deadlines had already passed for special admit schools, private schools and everything like that. So we had no choice but to enroll her in the neighborhood public school. I didn't go to public school, her dad didn't go to public school, so we weren't public school people. But I had no choice but to put her in public school. Putting her in the public school, they didn't have any before or after care. We were new to the neighborhood and I didn't know anybody. So I was like, where is she gonna go? So I quit my job and I started a before and after care program that I catered only to the neighborhood school that she was going to be attending. With that came my love for kids. Not that I didn't love kids when I started, because I did, but I never thought that would be the business that I would go into. So I did a before and after care, and then during the day I volunteered at the school. Volunteer turned into the principal actually offered me a job in the school. So I did the before and after care, and then I had a full-time job at the school. But then unfortunately the school system had a layoff. So one of the teachers that I was working for, or a class when I was working in, she was pregnant. And she asked, could I watch her child now that I wasn't gonna be working at the school? 
So all of that led into me doing a full-blown in-home daycare. So I would like to eventually go back to that. So that's how I would like to retire because I did that for eight years. I think I did it for eight complete years. And I just got tired of being at home. I was doing it by myself. I just wanted some adult interaction. She was in high school, so I didn't necessarily need to be home for her anymore. So that's when I went back into the workforce and I've been working with kids ever since, but I would like to eventually retire with doing a in-home daycare again. Do you love music? If yes, what is your favorite genre? I do love music and I, I want to say that my favorite genre is R&B. However, I also love gospel music. So I think it's a toss up between the two, R&B and gospel. What is your favorite number? My favorite number is the number three because that's the date in which I was born. So my favorite number has always been three. Have you ever been on a bridge? Or do you like and do you like bridges? I have no problem crossing bridges. I know there are a lot of people who cannot stand it. My daughter goes to school in Virginia, so we cross over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. I don't know if you are familiar with that at all, but it's bridge and then tunnel and then bridge and then tunnel and then bridge and then tunnel, I think. Or maybe it's two underwater. tunnels and three bridges. Yeah, underwater. That does not bother me. I think it's one of the coolest bridges ever. It's a beautiful scenery. It's beautiful, whatever. But the one bridge I do not like is the Delaware Memorial Bridge that connects Jersey into Delaware. I don't like it. It's high. I don't know what it is. You come around this corner and bam, it's just high. It's all up in the air. I don't like it at all. Where do you want to travel? Everywhere because I haven't been many places. I've been to up and down the Eastern Seaboard, so New York, and we have family in Maryland, family in DC, family in Virginia, family in North Carolina. I've been to Florida, so I've been to Disney World. I've been to Disneyland in California. But outside of America, I haven't been to too many places. I went to Cancun last year for spring break, my first girls trip, go girls. It was such the bomb. My brother was married years ago and his wedding took place in Curacao, which is a small island down south somewhere. I went to the Bahamas once, but that was part of the Disney cruise that we did. So I have many, many more places to travel. So I want to travel everywhere. Which one is your favorite, Barack Obama or George Bush? My favorite president will always be Barack Obama because he's Barack Obama. There's no explanation needed. And his wife, Michelle Obama. That's it. Do you have? I have one brother. He is three years younger than I am. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I could probably honestly say that he was my first best friend. So yeah, one brother. What is the craziest thing on your bucket list? <sighs> if I had to pick the craziest thing on my bucket list, um, I would like to skydive. Really? Mm-hmm. I would. I would like to skydive. Tandem, though, with my eyes closed. <laughs> but I would probably say the craziest thing I could do is skydive. What ice cream flavor can you eat for the rest of your life? I love Briars. That's my favorite brand. I grew up on it, and that's what I like. My favorite right now would be natural vanilla. My second favorite is butter almond. Not butter pecan, as my best friend tried to tell me. It's butter pecan. No, it's not. It's butter almond. So how much of a friend are you? Because we've been friends for 40 years and you don't know that it's butter almond. But butter almond by Briars. I will eat other ice creams, but that would be my favorite. I can eat it every day for the rest of my life. How do you feel right now? <clears throat> Nervous about doing all of this. But right now in my life, I am very content and very blessed. When was the last time you cried? I cry often in church just because the spirit is there. But the last time I cried was um, back in November because I unfortunately got into a um, argument with someone important to me. Yeah, we went through something. So that was the last time I cried. Do you love your job? I do actually, I do actually love my job. I'm still in the childcare business and I do love my job. I love the people that I work with. I love the environment that I'm in. Unfortunately, we are all dealing with this whole corona thing. So right now we are stay at home. 
but I do actually love my job. What is your favorite moment from your childhood? I don't have one favorite moment. I think I had a pretty good childhood. The block that I grew up on, there were a lot of kids on the block. I still have good uh, relationships with a lot of the friends that I grew up with. But I wouldn't say I have one favorite moment. I think it was just, I had a good block. And I had good parents and I had good friends who had good parents. And we were just always outside. And these kids don't know these days what it's like to play outside all day. Cause that's what we did all day. Shout out to all my friends from growing up. Y'all know who y'all are. We had a good block. You wish you had that. <laughs> Favorite drink, Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi all day. Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi all day. I used to really, really, really addicted to Pepsi, but I've really, really cut back a lot and I really just need to stop, but Pepsi, I'm a Pepsi girl. What is your favorite memory of your father? So my father unfortunately passed away back in 1994. He had lung cancer and I was 23 at the time. I really do miss him and I wish, you know, we had a, a um, I just really wish he was here. But my favorite memory of him is my dad wasn't very religious, so he didn't really, he didn't attend church or anything like that. But Christmas time, we were in our house decorating and there's a song called Oh Holy Night. And there's one part of the song where, you know, it's fall on your knees or hear the angels voices. And my dad came in from work at that time and literally fell on his knees, hands raised and started singing that song from that point of fall on your knees. And I'll never ever forget it. So like, that's one of my favorite Christmas songs. Last question, what is your favorite memory of your mother? So my mother is a whole different story. <laughs> Love her to pieces. Like she's one of my best friends now, but there's this dance she used to always do. And I want to call it like one of them 60s hippies kind of dances, but my father hated this particular dance. And every now and again, she would just do this dance and he would literally run from her and she would just go chasing him all around the house. So that's like my favorite memory of my, my mother. Okay, that is all the questions. That's all you have? Mm -hmm. So again, that's the first one, the whole get to know me. And again, I don't know where this journey may take me, but hopefully it takes me in the road that the Lord wants it to take me. So I hope you will like, comment and share and subscribe. I will hope to do these videos and put something out once a week. I don't know what particular day, but I would like for it to come out on the same day every week. So we'll see what happens with that. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope again that, you know, you're willing to take this journey with me. Until next time, bye.